His goodness is unfailing because even at a time of suffering, He is right beside us. Amen. Nasya ng gawman ka na doon. Bisang panahon sa gitawag at mga pagantos sa kinabuhi. Hallelujah. Nain nindot kayo. You have to open your Bibles in Isaiah 40, 11. This is really a remarkable passage in the scripture. We really touch our heart concerning the goodness of the shepherd, our God. It says here, he will tend his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms. He will carry, carry them in his bosom and gently lead those that are with young. Isaiah 40, 11. Now, the goodness of our shepherd is that he takes us into his arms and carries us. Amen? Iyahang kang pasanong sa iyahang bukton o niya ikarga ka niya o iyahang o ikarga sa iyahang mga bukton. He carries us. Ito na na to. He takes us, iyatang kuhaon, by his arm, o niya ikagata niya. He carries us unto his bosom. So this is how we really appreciate the goodness of God. And this is unfailing. Why? Because by the time that we are suffering, God cannot afford to turn His back to lead us away out of suffering in many situations in the world. He cannot afford to forsake us. Amen? Because He's committed sa atong kinabuhi. Sa niyang na himukan o sa kapahin, bihas sa iyang mga panon, ang Diyos ko na siya yung responsibilidad na alam ka nato. Amen? Kapis ang kung sa mga inapatan, kanigo, ang Diyos ko na siya yung sample na siya. Mau na nato di kinahanglanan na sa plain ka, sa iyang mga bukton, sa plain ka na yan. Doon ka yan, iyang ang kusog na kay Sonan. Hallelujah! Ang iyan arm is representing his strength, his capacity, that in him nothing is impossible. Amen? Kung nang isang unsa kabuga, isang unsa kanako sa inyong problema, kayang sunubaron sa Diyos. Kulay ko ba ang nalilimahin mo? sa Diyos na yung dialaga ni Son. Amen. Ngayon sa panahon na hindi mo kasing-kasing malungsa na sa mga sulman, sa mga problema sa kinabuhi at kung may mga bugtong sa Diyos na musab na eh mukugos din mo sa panahon sa kagulanan sa panahon sa inyong mga suliran at kung may Diyos na musab na eh kanin mo. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is how God really good is. Amen. Ang ibang Diyos, ilabihan ko rin siya ba? Panahon sa pangilin, mga tao magapasan, kayong toyo. Pero ang atang Diyos, sa panahon sa kalistanan, iahantang buhaon by the strength of His arm and He carries us into His mercy into His very presence. Amen. At ang footprints in the sun, we are so familiar with that. Na, natin mga panahon na, doon yung sa Kamerikano, sa kagabi, nagkita siya o pananawang sa iya ang damlo. Na siya daw, o ang Diyos, nagalakaw dito sa Dublin, sa Dapihan, sa Dabayan. Nakita niya ang doha katodo, Pag-unyasap na nagpadayon sila, 
Malipayong siya ito kung kaya ang Diyos na gawaman niya. Kaya isa katulog na pa ni Saniya ito sa Diyos, o gani Saniya. O niya, diha niya, iya nakita na, uy, kano man na isa na malang kaparisan ang iya ang nakita. Di ilak siya, nasubos siya. Namutahan na siya sa ginoo. Lord, kinsa mani ng mga tulog na akong nakita at bibli. Itubag na yun ang Diyos. Kaya nasubo ang iya ng kasing-kasing o niya miingon ang Diyos ngayon kaniya na anak ko, pinalangga na ito ka na. Kanang tulog na inong nakita diha ako ana. Kaya sa panahon sa inong mga problema, panahon sa inong mga pagsulay, panahon sa inong kagulanan, panahon sa inong mga duda, ako nagasapnay kanin. Amen. That is how God really good. Amen. He carries us by the strength of His arm. Amen. Everything is going fine if we abide in God in Christ. Because nothing is impossible with the Lord. He is our Almighty God. Amen. He is our great Comforter. He is going to carry us. So they have ang ato kasing-kasing magmasulog po na tungod sa mga problema sa kinabuhi. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! He is really our good shepherd. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And then, even though I walk through the valley, the shadow of death, I will fear the way long, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Now, in 1 Peter 5, 7, there you can see, if you have to read that in your Bible, it says that as we cast, lay down all of our burdens, our problems, difficulties in life, trials that we are facing, if we are going to lay down at the feet of Jesus by His love, by His care, is going to provide us. Amen. Amen. The need that we are asking from Him. Because during the time facing problems in life, our minds are being uh, in the lane with many problems and sometimes we do not know what to do. Pero salamat na lang sa ginoo sa atong mga kinuluhin, sa liha na atong ibutang sa kailan sa Diyos, ang atong mga panginahanga, ang Diyos mag-atiman ka natin. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because He is really our great and great shepherd. Si Salmis na David, when he was writing Psalms 23, he considered his life, his situation, uh, secondly, walking in the shadow of death. Because he was being run after by King Saul to kill, to kill his life or to kill him. So that is why though I walk through the valley, the shadow of death. I will fear no evil because you are with me. And you run in your staff, you come for me. So, Moni ang ikot ni David, ng authority sa Diyos, the instruction of the God, the Rab, gave peace and satisfaction in the life of David. So, Moni He's really our good shepherd. My good shepherd of yours. My good shepherd of the land time. Satu makin aboy. Amen. And then he's good shepherd because he has given us the portion. Ingo dinis sa 5 to 6. Yeah. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with all well. My cup overflows. Surely goodness, mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now, look at the passage. The 
there is a phrase that you can see in this passages 5 to 6. Cup, my cup overflows. Or cup overflows. Now this is the version that the good shepherd shared unto his people, unto us. This version is our Lord Jesus Christ. Kasi panahon sa mga problema, panahon sa mga kining mga pagsulay sa ating mga kinabuhi, panahon sa ating mga paginahanglan, we have the portion in Jesus. We have the portion and this portion is keeping on overflowing. Keep on overflowing. This is what the scripture is saying. The Lord is my chosen person and my car. Okay? I have a beautiful inheritance. And that is pertaining again to the Lord Jesus Christ. Meant to say, though we are facing a lot of problems, a lot of needs sometimes, but God will never fall short of His supply. Because we have a burden of God who is the supplier of everything that we need. Our cup is always overflowing. Meaning to say that the provision of God never comes to an end. Amen. And there is no such thing that kaya sa ginoo na tubagon o tagbuon sa iyang pagkadato sa kalangitan. Amen. So God overflows the burden, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. Ang tanan nato na pangayon ganto sa iyo. Tanan natin sa ating Panginoon Jesus. Because we have the relationship with Jesus after we came to know Him and accepted as He is our Lord and Savior. We have that relationship. Okay? That He is our God and we are His people and He has all the responsibility and He is going to need all of our needs because of that person that is in Jesus, that is in God. So you have the person in God through the Son, Jesus. But sa mga mga pulong sa ginoo, we can claim because of that person that is in Jesus. Amen? Because Jesus is in our hearts. He is our God. And He is to be responsible. Sa tanah natin mga panginahanglan. So He is going to supply sa iyong pagkadato sa ating mga kinabuhi. Amen. Amen? Hallelujah! And that is the manifestation of the goodness of God. Hallelujah! Our Lord is a chosen portion. Our cup overflows. Hallelujah! Because He is more than enough sa ating mga kinabuhi. Ang iyong goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. Yeah. Amen. Bisa ka sa tapadulo, bisa kun sa iyo itong buhan dun, bisa ka na naakas sa kalisod, ang pagkamahayo o ang kaloy sa ginoo na gauman sa atong mga kinabuhi. Katapusan mga kahit solan. The good shepherd! Plans are really good. Amen? Surely, If you look at that in your scripture, in verse, that is found in your Bible in chapter 23, there is another word being used to it. It is the word only, instead of using surely. There are some other translations. Now, ginagamit ang word only. Only goodness and mercy. Hallelujah. Surely, only goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Meaning to say, only God's plan where we can assure of, where we can reach our destination to good guy. God has the only plans where we can rely on because of His unfailing goodness and His mercy. Amen. Just keeping on 
Just keep marching on, praising on, padayon ka, kalagat na si Noh, bisag daghang mga pagsunay. Tungod kay ang Diyos ko na sa inindot, maayo na plano, o dihalang ka niya, plano na may kasiguruan, plano na naitinuon, na kadagdan o kalabusan sa atong mga kinabuhan. Mga kaigsonian, hallelujah! Ang pagkamaayo o ang kaboy sa gino, di rin kayo mapakias sa atong mga kinabuhin. Hallelujah! Pag-ibig Diyos, hallelujah! Sa atong mga kinabuhin. Mauna ang hulagway sa maayong na matamantay. Hulagway na di rin mapakias sa pagkamaayo o sa kayong hulungan ng kaloy sa Diyos sa atong mga kinabuhin. Mayroon ang tanan, mga kaigsonan. Bihong ko ng ato mga